DHCP static mapping allows you to assign fixed IP addresses to specific devices on your network, ensuring consistency and ease of management. These could be your servers, laptops, desktop, or any devices. In this lecture, I will discuss the benefits of DHCP static mapping and demonstrate how to configure them within PFSense. You will learn how to create static mapping for the individual devices based on their MAC addresses, ensuring that they always receive the same IP address from the DHCP server. On PFSense, you can see here dashboard and we'll go back here to services and in services, you can see here DHCP server and in DHCP server, we covered all the aspects related to DHCP and down here, you can see DHCP static mapping for the interface. If you know the MAC address of any device or if you know the hardware or address of any device, you'll be able to provide the static map directly from here. So you can add that by giving the MAC address and then all other details. This is one of the ways. And another way is that if you go into status, DHCP leases, you will see all the leases which are available here. And based on these leases, you can create the static map. How you can do it, if you scroll right, you can see here, these are the options. First option is to add this to static map. And second option is Wacom LAN mapping. So this way, you will be able to create the static map. We'll create one static map for my computer. So here, if I see the IP address of my computer, which I already showed you, but let me show you here again, IP config slash all. So you can check it by this way also. Otherwise, you can go to your network setting here. I'll go into control panel. So there are multiple options. I will show you one of the options here. If you go to network, so here you can see view network status. And here I'm connected to Wi-Fi and this Wi-Fi shows me the IP address here. Physical address is also here, but IP address of my computer here, which is 192.168.240.102 and subnet mask is also here and DHCP server is 192.168.240.1 and DNS is 192.168.240.6, which I configured in the DHCP server already. So I want this computer to get all the times an IP address of my choice. So it will be, for example, 192.168.240.12. So I want 240.12 to be assigned to this particular laptop. So let me show you how we can do that. I'll keep this on one side for the time being. And here I'll go back to 240.102. Let me see where is this assigned. Here you can see Amjad Zenbook. And the IP address assigned to me is 192.168.240.102. This is the hardware address. And if I go here right, I can simply click on plus sign so that it will automatically add the information over here. And then I can configure the static mapping. I can do this by going here to status and here DHCP leases. I can copy the MAC address of my computer, which is here. Copy this and come back here to services dhcp server and i'll go down here in the dhcp static mapping and click on add so here i need to first of all provide the mac address or the hardware address of my computer if you are on your computer so you can do copy my mac address so it will copy the mac address of your computer so wherever you are you will copy this so it will show the MAC address of your computer directly. I'll click on copy my MAC address. It will copy that client identifier. So this is optional. So now here, what IP address you want to give to your computer. So I'll be using 192.168.240.12. I want to give this IP address to my computer when, whenever my, my computer will connect to the network and this DHCP server will provide the IP address here. And then is the host name. I will name it Amjad Laptop. And description will be Amjad Zenbook Laptop. You can leave all this information default. You don't need to make any changes. But if you want to have the specific configuration for this particular laptop in terms of the DNS server, in terms of the Win server, in terms of the gateway, in terms of the domain name. So a domain name, I'll keep syncpricks.local, which is fine. It will take default. Otherwise, if you want to change it, you can use that as well. You might be having multiple tenants on your network where the domain controller will be different or domain will be different. So you can change the domain name for each and every device. Similarly, you can 
have the separate DNS servers for separate computers. For example, if you want to bypass the DNS server and if you want certain clients to get a different DNS server, you can do that as well. So again, all other information like net booting, dynamic DNS or LDAP, you can configure that. I will leave this blank. So I'll just click on save here. Now you can see my static mapping configuration has been changed. So I need to apply this. But once I apply this, of course, it won't immediately give me the IP address until my computer restarts or until my network restarts. If I go back again here, services, DHCP server, you will see that one entry has been added as a static map. I have multiple options to restart my network. So I will simply go here. For example, one way is that I'll just go to Wi-Fi and disconnect my Wi-Fi and connect it again. Now you can see it is connected. If I go back here to the network address, double click this details here, you can see the IP address is assigned to me 192.168.240.12. This was my choice. And this is how I configured here. If I go back here to status, DHCP leases, now you will see that this particular IP address is provided to me. And if you see this one, this icon has changed, which means that the user has been configured. And here, lease type, you can see it is static. If it is static, there will be no start date, there will be no end date or end time. So this is permanently provided to this particular laptop. And now one more configuration I want to do. Of course, I can't make any changes here. This is just the status. So I can go back to services, DHCP server. And here down, I will go back to the configuration of my DHCP static map. Click this. And I can go here in the DNS. And I want this device to get the DNS, external DNS, 1.1.1.1 or 8.8.8.8. So these will be two DNS addresses primary dns and secondary DNS, dns i can also provide up to four dns but i will be providing this and i will click save apply changes now if i show you a dns address for my computer right now is 192.168.240.6 which was pi hole which earlier i configured but i'll be now restarting the service i can do it by command line also i'll do ip config slash release and then IP config slash renew. Click on details now again. If you see the IP address, DHCP server is 192.168.240.1, but the DNS is provided 1.1.1.1 and 8.8.8.8. This was provided to me. If I go here, you can see this was configured and it was specific for this particular device. If you go to the services DHCP server, you will see that the DNS server for all other devices is 192.168.240.6 but for this specific lease will be the static lease will be 1.1.1.1 or 8.8.8.8 so this way you can provide specific servers like for example if you want to have the NTP service for this so you can specify the NTP service for this uh, specific device LDAP for this specific device or TFTP server for this specific device, depending upon your needs and requirements. I'll go back here to status and DHCP leases. And I will also provide some of the IP addresses of my choice again. And status and DHCP leases. You can see now I have created these static leases. Of course, I can clear all DHCP leases now and it will just clear them all. Restart the service now. All right, so you can see here that I cleared the leases here. Now you can see here that these are the devices which are already getting the static IP now. And this is also one of the device, uh, which is my kids device. Of course, I want to give the static IP to this as well. So I will be adding the static IP for this. And here I'll be giving the IP address 192.168.240.53. So these will be the IP addresses. Apply. So if you see here DHCP leases, so every time these devices will restart, 
on the network, they will be getting the same IP address. So here uh, I have assigned the 50 range. So 192.168.240.50, 51, 52, 53, 54, up to 59. These will be my kids' devices where I want to apply a specific policy from the firewall. That I'll explain you in the firewall rule section. But here the purpose is for you to understand that how the same IP address is assigned all the times when the device will be connected to the network. So this gives you a better control to address those devices every time with the same address. Now your question might be here that why don't you configure the IP address manually in these devices. So we could also go to the device here. If you see, I can go to my device here and I can instead of configuring the IP address through the DHCP server, I can go here and change the IP address directly from here. I can manually provide IP address 192.168.240.12 12 for example the ip address which i provided i will definitely get the internet connection the gateway address and all of that i'll provide but what will happen that whenever i will try to connect to any other network so this won't be getting the ip address because manual ip address is already configured that is the reason we want the dhcp to provide the ip address to all the devices and when configuring the dhcp static lease it will help us to address those devices on this specific network without configuring them manually on the devices. So this gives you flexibility in terms of rule assignment in the firewalls and there are various other benefits that you will see during this particular course. So this was all about DHCP leases. So you can see here now this particular address is also added. Here you can see there are more devices which are discovered. I will not give them any uh, static leases. So these are the guest phones uh, which I don't want to add uh, the static lease for them. So this way your network might be extremely big. You can even import the MAC addresses and provide them the static IP addresses based on the user type. And then you can create multiple rules that I will show you in the next videos.